What's going on guys, El Shanko here and welcome to Football Manager 2016 A brand new series today and it's Red Star Belgrade who are also known as Shrevena Vesda I believe that's how it's said and this series is a totally brand new series and I hopefully you guys will really like it um, Now I chose these guys because obviously they've won the Champions League or European Cup, whatever you want to call it these days um, before, however, in recent times they have fallen on fairly hard times and obviously not won anything in a long time, European wise. Now, my task in this series is to basically make them one of the greatest teams in the land. And to be honest, it's going to be difficult because there's not an awful lot of money in the Serbian game, uh, unlike a lot of other Eastern European leagues like Russia and Ukraine. Uh, there's actually not a lot of money in the Serbian league, and the I mean, for instance, the prize money for winning the top league is about one hundred and forty thousand, um, and that to me is just next to nothing. Um, so it's going to be a challenge. Let's just no kid you. It's going to be a challenge. Now, first of all, one of the reasons I chose this is because the derby uh, against Partizan Belgrade is called the Vice City Derby. All also known as the Eternal Derby. Now that, to me, just sounds like a good starting point. I mean, that in itself, I mean, you've got the old firm Derby, the, the Manchester Derby, that sort of thing. But that, the Eternal Derby, sounds like a great name for a Derby. So, really looking forward to it. Now, what I've done is, how do we look at the squad? And I'll talk you through all the players that we've got in this first episode. Um, now, what I've done is I've actually transfer listed a few players that I don't want and also promoted a lot of youngsters. So this squad might actually look quite big at the moment. But if you look at the, the ages of the squad, let's just scroll up to the top, and all these guys here are all youngsters that are promoted from the uh, reserves or the under-19s. Um, the reason I do that is simple, because we, in my opinion, we have youth team coaches. So th these guys, there's still some guys in there, um, but you know, we have youth team coaches, we have reserve team coaches, uh, but we've also got a first team. Now, my idea with it all is to give these youngsters the promise, the ones I think are most promising, uh, a chance to train with the older players and hopefully learn more of them. Uh, and so by training with the first team, I feel that it will help their development. Um, Maybe I'm wrong, maybe someone will correct me on that one, but it's just the way I do it, so I like to do it that way. And uh, hopefully some people will uh, appreciate that, but also uh, I'm open for comments, guys. I mean, you know, I've been playing football manager since, well, I've gone back to championship manager, really, uh, since 93, 94. Um, and obviously training has been really ramped up in the last few years, so I'm, I'm just willing to take any advice that I can from you guys out there. And, uh, yep, yeah, let's get right into the squad. So, goalkeepers, starting off with uh, Damir Kahneman. Um, seems like a decent enough goalkeeper um, for this level. Um, not great, but, again, not bad. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go into too great detail on these guys. Supic, now, he's a player that I don't think is going to stay here for long. I've transfer listed him. He... It's just an average goalkeeper, and I think we can do better. Savo Pavic, yeah, get that right, Ian. Uh, Savo Pavicevic. Um, now this guy's an experienced defender. Uh, I really think this guy could go far um, with us in the next few seasons. Obviously, after that, he'll start to really decline, and he won't be good enough anymore. But we'll talk about that more in the future. Um, what I'm planning to do with um, older players. So we'll move on, we've got uh, Marko Mihailovic, now this guy looks like a promising, fairly promising um, young fullback. Um, he's a superb rating for the senior team, so we'll take that. Um, really good physicals, not bad mentals, and half decent technicals, so quite happy with him. Next is Nikola Pejevic, we'll, we'll go with that, um, correct me if I'm wrong again. High determination, which is really good to have, um, especially in someone so young, is really determined. I mean, obviously, I know you can increase that with um, training. 
uh, with tutoring, but um, he is a decent looking right back. Uh, again, someone with high potential and a lot of, I'll not lie, in Serbia, the facilities aren't too bad, actually, to be fair. And uh, especially with Srena Vesda, um, we have a really good youth academy and hopefully that that will serve us well, especially uh, in a league where we've not got a lot of money. Next is Alexander Lukovic. Um, experienced, another experienced defender, can play right across the back line. Um, really good stats, really happy with this guy. He'll be in the first team squad this year. Next, oh, actually he's injured, oh dear. That's, uh, that's not the best, <laughs> to be honest, I just realised he's actually injured. Uh, I don't know how long for. Um, oh, six weeks to three months, that's a bit of a sore one. But that's okay, we'll, we'll work on that. Next is uh, Ranko Jokic. Now, this is another young player, um, left back, can play centre back as well. <sighs> Looking at his stats, not the greatest, but... Um, again, good potential, and with extra training, I think we could get this guy up to a really good level. Next is Sladjan Rakic, and again, I apologise if I butcher this language at all. Um, please someone tell me in the comments um, whether I'm doing this right. Um, or if I say anything wrong, just correct me, because I don't want to um, screw up the complete the language. Um, now, this guy, really young, really promising full back. Again, we've got a lot of promising young players, and that is good for the way I want to play this game. Um, right, next up, we have got Zoran oh jeez, oh uh, Rindulic um, yep, we'll go with that one um, solid enough, but I've transfer listed him, I don't think he's going to be good enough for the squad, so he'll be leaving hopefully shortly, uh, but a good backup nonetheless for um, if he doesn't go Next would be Vukasan Jovanovic. Uh, again, apologies. I mean, later on this season, once I get to grips with these names, it'll be a lot better, guys. Um, this guy, really young defender, but also really good. This guy will be first team all season, in my opinion. He's got good tech, uh, good physicals, good great mentals, and decent technicals as well. So quite happy with this guy. Next is Marco Petkovic. Now, this guy is wanted by a host of clubs. Um, well, okay, two. <laughs> but, you know, um, what I've done is I've given this guy, I offered this guy a new contract to see if we can try and sign him beyond his two years because this guy, in my opinion, could be the bee's knees for us. He's only 22, so he's still got plenty of time to grow, and I think this guy could really, really make it at this club. Next up, we've got Dusan Andjakovic, and he is an average player, fullback, again, transfer list dumb. Experienced, but just average, and I don't think we, we need these players at this club because we're fighting for um, the championship this year. Luis Ibanez is an Argentine left wing back, and this guy's going to be first team, in my opinion. He's got all the attributes, and obviously being Argentinian. He comes towards the foreign players in our um, squad and I think we need to play him for that matter and I think he's better than most of the players um, that we've got in our squad. But Lukovic, but you know, overall it's the same and Lukovic is obviously that little bit older so, you know, Ibanez has got more room to grow so I'm happy with him. Mihailo Ristic is next and to be honest, 19 years old, centre midfielder He's going to be in the first team. Um, what can I say about this guy? I mean, he's got really good all-round stats, and I think this guy, with a bit of training, could become a world beater for this club. Next up, Marco Grujic. Um, again, similar to the previous guy, but um, slightly more defensive. Um, so his stats are slightly more defensive, but so his, his technicals aren't quite as good. But you know, mentals, physicals, absolutely fine for this level. And at 19 years old, plenty of room to grow. Nikola Jovanovic, 18 years old, good young prospect. I'm not going to talk much about him, I'll talk much about him in, and most of these youth prospects actually in a later episode. Um, just looks like an all round decent youth player. Um, he'll be training with his first team this year, see how he goes, maybe get a couple of games. 
Lazar to Fedzic. Really good potential ability. Now this guy I think could go all the way. Now his stats admittedly don't look very high. But if you look at these, I mean you've got crossing yeah, corners eight, crossing six, dribbling seven, finishing eight, first touch nine. All of these ones, if you increase them I mean he's only eighteen, so if you increase these by four, five, six, you know, you're looking at a top, top player. And this year in Football Manager, with the training the way it is, I think we could really hone this guy into being something extra special. And so I'm looking forward to that. Next up we've got Nikola Puzic. Again, another youngster, 16 years old. Again, really good prospect. Defensive midfielder um, or centre midfielder. So, in fact, he can play a few positions, which is always good, handy to have uh, as a backup. Not paying on much wages either, which is really quite good. Next up, we've got an on loan player, Mitchell Donald. Now, this guy's fairly good. Um, he's not, well, I suppose he's the joint best in our team with Grujic uh, in this position. Um, star player for the league. Again, decent player. Uh, he's Dutch and Tsunamese, so Tsunamese even. Um, so, yeah, again, really good overall stats. No standouts, to be honest. Now that's one thing that I, I want to say about this side. We've got no standout players, you know, there's no Messi's or Ronaldo's or, you know, even a Serbian equivalent. But really good average players, so hopefully we can hone them to make them really good. Uh, Idan Varid is next, and again, really decent player. Um, he's got a few good stats, but mainly in the mentals um, and physical. So, again, Israeli. Um, 26 years old, so not much room, more room to grow, but you know a little bit. I mean, if you if you get them a little bit better, then um, that could make all the difference. Stefan Mihailovic now, um, this guy's got really good potential again. Another one, promising midfielder. I think this guy could really have a good impact on this side in the future. Um, you know, I'll, I will go into these in more detail in future episodes, guys, but um, this is just to really give you a taster of who's in the squad and um, see where we're going from there. Nemanja Tomasevic, um, again, another absolute... You, you should see this youth. I mean, for the youth team, um, to have this amount of players that are that good potentially is amazing. And, I mean, that's my style of management, is to go for the youth players. So hopefully... Um, We'll be able to see. I mean, this guy's got mega flair. Um, I mean, that's a standard attribute for me um, to do the unexpected. And this guy, at 15 years old, a world at his feet. Next up, we've got. Oh, dear me. <laughs> so I apologize, I'll just call him uh, Plavsic at the moment. Um, again, really good player. Um, attack him in field. Really, just all round good player at 19 years old, still got plenty of room to grow, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes. Signed him this year, um, before we even started the game, uh, from Spartak, who are one of our league rivals, uh, 215,000. So that's a lot of money for a Serbian team to pay, so he must be pretty good. So I'm quite happy with that. Next up, we got Ognjen Bielic. Bell kick, um, and he this guy looks again at really good potential. Seventeen years old, although to be honest, mate, hard paper round, hard paper round. God, I, I'm sure when I look seventeen, I didn't. I, in fact, I'm thirty three years old now. I don't even look that old. Dear me, it's ridiculous. Um, right, so again, not good physical. So that's the only problem with this guy. Um, probably because he's about forty, but that's um, that's just that by the by. But he's. Uh, he looks half decent, really good technicals, so hopefully um, he'll be a part of the squad in the seasons to come. Look at Adzic, again, another 16 year old. Um, he's not got a face, which is rather irritating. Um, I'll need to look that up on um, Sort It Out SI. Um, but again, really decent all round stats. Um, happy with this guy. Hugo Vieira, now he's one of two major strikers for us this season. Um, 26 years old, Portuguese player. Um, really good stats, and this guy excites the hell out of me for this season. Um, obviously, his first season at the club came from a free from Torpedo Moscow, but you know, he's been at Sporting in Spain, Sporting Hee Haw, uh, Gil Vicente, uh, Braga. 
you know, th this guy has been at a few clubs. Goal ratio, not great, but to be honest, looking at his stats, he looks like a decent prospect for us. So we'll see how he works out. Got Luka Jovic now. This guy is like the Serbian Messi, in my opinion, from looking at his stats. He's like the sort of young talent that's coming out of Serbia at the moment. Um, really talented to come on ability. Um, potential ability, obviously, superb. Um, this guy's my first choice striker, in my mind. Um, didn't play. He's not played that much overall, um, but at 17 years old, to have seven goals already to your name, I'm quite happy. Quite happy with Luca. Um, he will be playing up front for us. Um, you can see he can play in multitude of positions. Quite happy with him playing up front. Bruno, um, Brazilian player. I think I transfer listed to him. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was thinking about it because he's one of these foreign players who has got okay ability, but I don't know. He's just There's just something about him that I just don't really think is going to progress much further. Uh, but he is 25, so I'll maybe give him a half season. Maybe loan him out and see how he does there. But I don't think he'll be first team. Next up, we've got Alexander Keitai. Now, this guy's a winger by trade and 24 years old. Again, plenty of room to grow. Um, continental reputation, I like that when you can see that. Although no international caps, but under 21 caps um, for Serbia. So, I mean, that's really, really okay. Um, again, all round decent player. Um, looking forward to seeing what we can make of him. Uh, some good wing attributes like dribbling and crossing. Uh, at this level, that's really decent, so we'll take that quite happily. Next up, Nenad Kavric. In good potential, but I think I'm going to loan this guy out this season. He's a winger, but again, back up to the first team, in my opinion. Um, decent stats, but nothing stand out. Um, again, signing from Napadak for 200 grand um, last season. He only played 15 games now. For 200 grand for the Serbian League, that's a lot of money to only play 15 league games. So, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see if we'll loan them out. Slabajuv Cernic is next, and 23 years old, looks half decent, um, and there's no one of anyone, but I was, I was just looking at this, we just signed him, again 200,000 seems to be the kind of mark that a first team player in this league goes for, um, really half decent player, but again he plays a multitude of positions, so this guy could be one of our guys on the bench um, to come on and play as a sub, um, so yep. That's next up, Vladimir Jovovic. Jovovic? Yeah, Jovovic, we'll go with that. Um, 20 years old, um, lightning winger, um, quite happy with his pace and acceleration, uh, good physicals, decent um, technical attributes for this role as well. Um, as you can see, yep, really happy with this guy, and this guy will be one of our first team players this season. Sasa Stojanovic, a uh, transfer listed. Um, he's getting on about his 32 years old. I don't think he would have been in the first team, although he's got really good mentals, but obviously that comes with age. Um, and I just think his physicals and technicals are going to decline over in the coming years, especially his physicals. So I, I'm trying to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Uh, Marco Platisa, um, really good potential. He's not very good at the moment. Um, real low rating for senior team, but then again, I mean, you look at the physicals. He's got quite a lot of really good physicals, um, and that in a youngster is good to see. Uh, not so good on off the ball, um, for anticipation three. I mean, I think even no offense, but even my anticipation is better than three. Uh, so I mean, for this guy, you need to sharpen up, son, and don't you worry. I've got, I'm getting the coaches in place to sharpen you up. Next up. Andrea Sonodak. Again, please tell me if that's wrong, guys, but I'm um, quite happy to go with that for just now. Uh, 16 years old, good potential. I'm just going to be playing this guy, um, maybe off the bench every now and again. Um, see how he goes. See if we can improve some of these stats. Um, good training uh, facilities here, so we'll see what, what we can do. Um, <clears throat> next up, Predrag Sikimic. Again, an older player, average for this side, 
Um, he won't be here for long, hopefully. Um, I've transfer listed him, and hopefully we'll see him leave the club. And obviously he's on fair whack of wages here, so let's see if we can get rid of him. That'd be quite good. Um, yeah, just beat him. Uh, Georgie Despotovic, who's out on loan at the moment. Um, now this guy, I remember last season's game, he had a, a really baby face photo, but he's got a wee beard now, so ah, that's uh, he's lost that sort of baby face look. Um, and really good striker potentially uh, for this club. He's out on loan at the moment at Kairat in Kazakhstan, where he's been for like, the last year and a bit. So I'm hoping that he will progress out there. Um, but where are they? Are they? They've got any decent training facilities. Superb training facilities, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so he'll be progressing there, hopefully come back after scoring a few goals in the Kazakhstan League. Um, and hopefully he'll be a, a real future player for us. He's 6'2", so that's always good to see in a striker. Stefan Svetovic. Svetkovic. Um, really good youngster again. Again, it seems like I've seen this all the time with these players, but... These guys are really, really good, and they're so young as well. Uh, actually, it looks a wee bit like Kenny Miller, um, if I've, any of you ever remember the Scotland international player. Um, but, again, really good young talent. He's got a lot of 12s, which is interesting. Now, 12 in football manager, if you're 17 years old, I mean, to me, that could potentially go up to 16, 17, 18. And if, if you get a few guys, like a few um, stats like that, you guy could be really, really top notch. So again, we'll wait and see how he progresses. A few more to go now. Milan Panovic again, sixteen years old, looks the bee's knees. Let's face it, work rate, uh, teamwork, player. Uh, this guy's got quite a lot of good standout abil abilities, and at sixteen years old, five foot seven, so slightly smaller than normal for striker, but uh, make alone. Uh, Alessandro Del Piero, Stevie Loss, all these kind of people um, are kind of diminutive in height, so quite happy with, with that. I mean, obviously, you've got Lionel Messi is the ultimate one, but um, quite happy with him. Luca Illich, again, 15 years old, good striker prospect. I'm not going to go into this too much, um, try and keep this as short as I can. Um, good striker prospect, and hopefully, we'll be able to develop him into something really special. And last is Dejan Jovlic, um, really half-decent player, um, good natural fitness switch in this league could come in handy. Uh, I won't lie to you, that could come in handy, especially when we've got a lot of games to come. So that rounds up the squad for you. Um, now, I would go into the reserves and the under-19s, but that's probably for another day. Um, now, just to tell you, so what we're, our goal is in this season. The board are expecting us to win the league and reach the final of the cup. No pressure there then, guys. Um, our transfer budget, well, let's just say it's not good, guys. Uh, season budget of 500 grand. Um, but the wage budget difference, we've only got 112 pounds a week to play with. So, to be honest, I won't be spending much of that at all. Um, just a quick look. At the transfers that I'm looking at possibly doing. Uh, now, I'm at least you'll be looking at these and thinking, oh my word, what's he doing? Um, I'm just looking at having a couple of guys on trial, mainly just to see what standard they are um, with regards to the, the first team we've got here. Nicholas Zukic, obviously, will be known to everyone in England um, from his time there. And now this, obviously, is Serbian, uh, which is the main reason why I'm going for it. Um, but he hasn't played that much football recently but he is still a mercurial talent in my opinion 6 foot 8 you can't argue with that guy <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to argue with the guy I mean he's got a, a full um, or near enough a full um, foot on me in height but um, again just someone that could be a backup for the first team with some national experience to bring on the kids um, Marius Nikolai again a free transfer because what I'm doing is I'm looking at free transfers for this team at the moment to try and build up our uh, bu our budget a wee bit. Um, 
and I think this guy all round looks okay. Uh, so I'm offering him a loan, a trial period, just to see if I can get him in and look at his stats in a more detail. Um, because I think this guy could actually be okay. Uh, Dejan Lekic, again, 29 years old, it's not amazing, but the, the um, scout seems to think this guy's actually okay. Um, his last team, I believe, were Ibar, yeah, Ibar in Spain. Um, 18 games from the last season, no goals for a striker, which is pretty damn demoralising. But again, might not be that kind of a striker, maybe more setting up striker. So, I'm pretending his heading is going to be good anyway, we know that. Um, Jumping reach as well, half decent. So, e even if it was at the lower end of these scales, you know, 15 for for heading isn't bad at all. So, quite happy to take him um, and just try to sign him. Now, the one that will probably stand out to you all is Alessandro Del Piero. Now, you'd be thinking at me and say, Ian, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Alessandro Del Piero is 40 years old. Why? Why, why, why would you be signing this guy? The reason is simple. I'm wanting to get this guy as experience for the young guys um, and as possibly a coach in the future. Um, now, obviously, when you're 40 years old, you'd be thinking, oh, my word. But he's got the talent. Everyone knows he's got the talent. So we'll just wait and see if that actually comes off because he might not even want to sign for us. Um, so... That'll just about wrap up the first episode, guys. If you like this, leave a like on the video. It would really help me. And um, if you want to see more, obviously, and I will apologise for any butchering of names. Um, obviously, it's Serbian. I'm not Serbian. I'm Scottish. Um, so if any of these names are wrong that I've said, please feel free to correct me and give me a sort of phonetic way of doing them. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. And... Um, I'll see you guys next one when what I'll do is I'll play up to the end of the friendlies um, and when we're probably starting to play the Novi, Novi Pazar game first and what I'll look to do from then is play one game a month um, and then come back and do a recap of that, uh, of that month's games and have a live con from there. So I'll see you guys next video. Cheers guys.